just play perfect Lonzo hit the three to win oh my god what is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video my Los Angeles Lakers just landed Anthony Davis let's freaking go guys oh my god obviously I'm not a Lakers fan this is a joke but I do have this which makes me even more of a Lakers fan let's go dudes obviously this is a joke I'm not a Lakers fan but that's about what we're going to see coming up soon but as we all know, Anthony Davis has finally been traded and it is to the Los Angeles Lakers like we all expected. And uh, here was the trade. So we got Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and uh, Josh Hart and three first round picks, including the fourth pick overall this year. Um, we have no idea what the protections are on those two other first round picks. So I just kind of assume it's probably going to be the 2021 first rounder and then a 2023 I just made the 2021 top five protected and then the 2023 is uh, unprotected. So I don't know what the protections are yet, but this is the trade we had going on. So obviously I'm going to do the Anthony Davis side of things. I've done an Anthony Davis Lakers rebuild before, but obviously not for this exact trade. And now that it's official, we have to do it again, right? So uh, Kyle Kuzma, keeping him is an absolute W. I think him next to Anthony Davis fits perfectly. So you kind of have Kuzma anthony davis lebron james so now you just got to figure out your backcourt your front court's pretty much set so rondo you could bring him back uh i'm sure lavar ball right now as of right now is super pissed off and uh definitely not very happy i'm sure with the lakers but uh we don't have a we don't have a pick anymore obviously because we just traded it so you don't have to worry about that player options kuzma definitely gonna bring that man back and then qualifying offers uh none so as in real life, uh, or Adrian Wojnarowski, right after the trade, said that the Lakers are going to be uh, very interested in Kimball Walker and he's going to be their top priority. So, uh, if they could get Kimball Walker, that would be an absolute W, but I don't even know if they could afford him. Let's see. I'm going to make this rebuild realistic, by the way. I've been doing realistic rebuilds lately, and uh, I've loved doing them so far, so I'm going to try to keep it realistic. So, when we renounce like everybody, I guess we do have enough for Kimball Walker. We're going to have about $29 million. And then if you get Kimball Walker, you basically can't get much of anything else. Uh, the bench is going to be bad. But, I mean, the Warriors have kind of proven you don't need, like, a great bench. I mean, of course, their bench is not bad by any means. But uh, it is good. It's just you don't need a crazy good bench. So I'm going to go for Kimball Walker because I think it does make sense, possibly, for Kimball Walker to come to the Lakers. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford him. And obviously, we're going to have to go for some very veteran-like shooting guards because we're not going to have a lot of money to do anything else. We're probably like good sign jr smith but lebron james want to play with jr smith again actually you know what i could actually see this happening jr smith i could totally see him coming to play with lebron james again so we get kimball walker and jr smith that is a w so far and then obviously our starting five will be good with kimball walker starting i'm definitely probably going to resign kcp because we really can't do anything else so i'll sign kcp as well we get all three of them hopefully and we do so just like that we have Kimball Walker at the point guard, which is crazy. KCP and J.R. Smith are going to be the serviceable starting shooting guards we're going to have. Like I said, I could definitely see J.R. Smith following LeBron to Cleveland. I could, or to Los Angeles, not to Cleveland. I could so see it. So J.R. Smith, KCP, LeBron James, Kuzma. So obviously we need some backups now. So um, let's have backup point guard, backup small forward. So we kind of need a little bit of everything. So uh, as far as affordable backup point guards, let's see what we got we could just you know i honestly wouldn't mind rondo back again trey burke jeremy lynn sean livingston george hill Seth curry quinn cook i probably will get rondo i could so see rondo coming back and then small forwards carmelo anthony should we do it should we do it i, I don't know man i kind of feel like doing it so we're gonna get carmelo and then uh what else we're we gonna get and then as far as the power forward spot we're going to go for, uh, let's say, let's get like Markeith Morris wouldn't be too bad off the bench. Uh, Luke Bahamute. What about a backup center? Nero's Noel, Boban Marjanovic, Frank Kaminsky, Kavon Looney, Willie Reed, Joe Kim Noah, Robin Lopez, Ekbe Udo, Zaza. Uh, you know, I could see maybe like Robin Lopez would make sense. So we get Carmelo, Robin Lopez, and Rajon Rondo. So yeah, our bench isn't going to be like fantastic by any means, but... It's going to be somewhat decent than power forward. And we have Robin Lopez, but I'm probably going to try to sign a backup power forward still. Thaddeus Young probably can't afford him. Uh, Aminu might be the one I could afford, but uh, Chuck Diallo, Luke Bahamute, Noah Vonley, Jordan Bell. I'm going to go, I can't afford Marquise Morris, Christian Wood. 
Let's go. I guess we'll go with Aminu if we can afford him. And uh, we might not be able to. So I'm going to sign up to a one-year deal. We can. And that'll be our lineup, basically, guys. So we got Kimball Walker and some other serviceable players that are going to be nice around this team, which is kind of the offseason you could expect from the Lakers. Obviously, a couple of players go down in overall. But there's going to be a lot of veterans signed for this team. A lot of minimum deals because there's going to be a lot of uh, salary included in this team. Now that you're going to have Kimball Walker, Anthony Davis as well. Kuzma is going to be uh, due for a big contract. And then obviously you have LeBron James, huge contract. So uh, I do like the move for the Lakers a lot. It is a win now move. And then when you have LeBron James, you're trying to win now. So I love it a lot. And if they're able to get Kimba Walker as well, I love that form even more. So uh, that's just, I, I love what the Lakers are doing. It is scary now because the Western Conference is becoming even better. So it is definitely scary. I'm not going to lie. But let's go ahead and give the untapped potential to the young players we still do have like Kuzma. Wagner and I guess Bonga down there. Probably gonna send Bonga and Wagner to the G League if I can. I don't know if Bonga's under contract uh, for that long. Let me see what their contracts are looking like. Uh, he's got another year. So does Maurice Wagner. So both of them are going to head to the G League because they're not gonna be getting any minutes. So Bonga and we gotta sign another free agent. Uh, Monroe. If we can afford Monroe, uh, that would be a W. But I don't know if you would accept that. Okay, no. Lance, could we just bring back Lance, Reggie Bullock? We could bring him back, and I could totally see that. But probably not going to come here either. So, I mean, we offered Justin Holiday. I could see that. So, I guess we'll get Justin Holiday. All right. So, now, let's look at the nine-man rotation that we're going to have. We have Frank Vogel as the head coach. Remember that? Uh, Kimball Walker, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope, LeBron James, Kuzma, Anthony Davis, Aminu, Carmelo, J.R. Smith, and Rajon Rondo. Wow. Okay. Very different. It's like kind of seeing Carmelo, JR, Rondo, and LeBron James all on the same team. It's just kind of mind-boggling. I don't know why. It's just kind of weird because we know JR Smith and Carmelo used to play in New York together, Denver, and then uh, like they were always rivals, kind of rivals with LeBron James in a way. Not Maybe not rivals, but I don't know, guys. We all know the competitiveness was there. I'm going to go ahead and give Carmelo those 25 minutes off the bench, though, and we'll roll with that. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this season. Let's see how this new LeBron James uh, or Anthony Davis Lakers team would do. I guess I'll keep it at balanced right now, and then we'll see what the full season. Guys, despite the big trade, Zion Williamson is still your rookie of the year, and the Pelicans actually drafted him. I swear to gosh, every time I was doing these rebuilds, it seemed like every time the Pelicans were drafting Ja Morant and Zion was going to the Grizzlies, but finally they drafted Zion like they're supposed to. Okay, Anthony Davis is your defensive player of the year on the Los Angeles Lakers. Bledsoe is your most improved Brett Brown's coach of the year. And here's your All-NBA first team. LeBron James makes it on. All-NBA second team, Anthony Davis makes it on. And then All-NBA third team, uh, no Kimba. All-defensive first team, Anthony Davis. And then All-defensive second team, we have LeBron James making it. All-rookie first team, Zion. And then John Morant's on the Knicks. RJ Barrett's on the Pelicans as well. That's not going to happen. Uh, that's really not going to happen. But uh, it's definitely interesting. And I got to say, the Knicks have definitely... Uh, their future looks a little bit worse because we all thought they could be the prime destination for some free agents like Kevin Durant and uh, other players like that. But it looks like the Knicks might be striking out again because Kevin Durant's obviously... I mean, Kevin Durant could still sign there and uh, that'd be fine, but they're not going to be good next year. That's kind of what I'm trying to get at. But here's how it went down. We had 23 points for LeBron James, 8 assists, about 8 rebounds. Anthony Davis with about 23 points. 14 rebounds, 3 blocks a game. That's absolutely amazing. Kemba had about 19, about 6. Kyle Kuzma with about 14. Melo with 10.5. And, and KCP with 7.5. I got to say, though, if Kemba Walker really wants to start making the playoffs and winning championships, he would be absolutely stupid not to join these two in Los Angeles. I'm just saying, man. It's like the perfect destination for him, if you're asking me. And I just don't think Charlotte could ever combine... Can, I don't think Charlotte could ever put anything around you to make anything better than what this could be. Obviously, like Anthony Davis, LeBron James. Those are two once-in-a-time, once-in-a-lifetime players you could team up with. So, Kimba, if you're watching this, you gotta team up with them, man. You gotta do it. So, we do beat the Suns in five games. Hopefully, we can get past the Thunder as well. But, nope. They're up 1-0, 2-0. And 2-1 for us. Do we even it up? No, 3-1. And we're gonna lose in five games. Okay, so... Not good at all. I was kind of wishing for better. But we got Oklahoma City and Portland in the conference finals, which is interesting. Portland up 2-0, 3-0. And are my Blazers going to win a championship in this video? That would be absolutely amazing. 
but 1-0 for the Raptors, 2-0, 3-0, and the Raptors sweep. Kawhi Leonard stay with the Raptors, which will definitely be interesting to see if he will stay there as well this offseason. But league meetings, all we can do is try to get better. And of course, we're going to have to definitely focus on while trying to get better is trying to sign, uh, what's his name back? Anthony Davis. So definitely going to be a lot at stake this offseason. We do have the 23rd pick overall. Staff signing, Frank Vogel. I'm going to go ahead and keep him. Our trainer is good. I guess I'll get a good head scout too while we're here. Sign him up. Our assistant coach isn't terrible by any means. But for the NBA draft, you have the 23rd pick. Um, Kuzma is good. Melo, I do like him off the bench still. So I'll go ahead and keep him. KCP is fine. Uh, for that 23rd pick, I don't know if I could get something for it. Get Terry Rozier, Gorgie Dang, Dougie McThunderbuckets. Uh, for Concord Max Stanley Johnson, so nothing too great. So let's go into the draft and uh, let's send to our pick and let's see if we can get like a late first round, like you know, stud Precious Acha. I can never say his name right, but he is here. Dodson, I mean, Precious is here. I gotta take him, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him and I'll send to the end and that should be good. Lamelo Ball was taken by I don't even know who that was, but uh, actually, I meant to look at the stats for the Pelicans. As as well. I don't know if it's still there. Hopefully it is. Zion led the way with 20 and a half. They had RJ Barrett, Drew Holiday, uh, Dwight Howard as well. Okafor, Ingram, Lonzo, Josh Hart. So, I mean, those three didn't make a big contribution, but I got to say, I expect Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram to do great things in Los or in New Orleans and Josh Hart as well. So definitely going to be interested to see how those guys do uh, going forward in their career, but we're going to sign all these guys back. Qualifying offers, Daniel House, not going to bring him back. And of course, the main man we want to bring back is Mr. Anthony Davis. Uh, we'll go ahead and renounce probably like all these guys. Our bench wasn't that great. So, I mean, if we could make a better bench, that'd be great. I almost renounced Anthony Davis. I don't know why. But uh, Kimball Walker, Isaac Bonga. I'm, I mean, I can service with that. So that's fine. We'll keep that fine. KCP, uh, we got Carmelo. Precious now. Um, I actually might end up making a trade for a certain person. And then, uh, well, who is my backup power forward? We didn't really have one, did we? I think Wagner is probably going to become the backup power forward because I think he goes up, and that's going to be fine there. And then we'll sign Mr. Anthony Davis, of course. That is the main thing we want to do. Give him a whatever he wants and then uh, sign him up back on the roster. We're not going to have any money to afford any other free agents, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this goes through. And then uh, as far as, I mean, Kent Bazemore off the bench wouldn't be, be too bad, Trier. But before I do anything like that, I'm going to try for a certain player, and that is Mr. Lou Williams from the Clippers. He is uh, $8 million. Let's see if we can potentially get him back in Los Angeles. I doubt the Clippers would want to give me like one of their best players, so it would have to be like a deal. That would be really good. Um, what if I gave you not KCP? Well, actually, we could almost afford him. What about if I gave you... Uh, this guy no okay uh wagner i guess kcp wins for wagner uh do i really want to be trading more first round picks though probably not so yeah let's not do this and i i don't know if the clippers would be willing to do that anyway so we're gonna have kcp the small four spot is fine i guess precious might head to the g league and then we'll have let carmelo play one more time and then wagner we need a backup center and a backup shooting guard so let's look for that Backup shooting guard. I saw Kim Bazemore, and I think that could make some sense. So I'll go ahead and sign him. As far as backup centers are concerned, Bryant, uh, Boban. I guess I'll just sign Boban. So Boban, and then let's get Kim Bazemore, and that should be good. So I'm going to simulate another season, and uh, we're going to see how this team does. Again, we're going to hopefully bounce back from what we you know, did the previous season, and hopefully we can be fine. Obviously, our main man, Anthony Davis, wins Defensive Player of the Year once again, and then Coach of the Year goes to Nick Nurse on the Toronto Raptors. All-NBA first team, LeBron still making it. All-NBA second team, Anthony Davis. And yeah, so basically the same. It's looking almost the same thing. Almost exactly the same. We, are, we did win two more games in last year, though. We made it to the second round last year, so I'm hoping to make it to the conference finals this time. And LeBron James with 24 points per game. Anthony Davis had about 22.7, 13 rebounds, 2.7 blocks. Kuzma had about 15. Kimball Walker's stats went down with about 14.9. Bazemore had 8. KCP Precious had about 6.6 .6 off the bench. Boban, 6.5. Uh, Carmelo actually didn't play, uh, sadly enough, but that's okay. Maybe we can get him a ring while he's not playing. So let's see if we can beat the Portland Trailblazers in the first round. We're up 1-0 to start, 2-0. 
Uh, three, nope, two, one, and okay, three, one. Can we finally? Can we just beat them, please? Three, two, and we move on in six games. Awesome. Okay, and we're facing the Denver Nuggets, not the Thunder, who absolutely killed us last year. So let's see if we can beat the forty-two and forty Denver Nuggets. They're up one zero. Oh, we even it up. Two, one. Oh my gosh, please. Two, two, three, two. Please give us, dude. I really want this series right now. Please, no. We gotta have this series in the finals. Oh my gosh, I meant to do simcast and we made it. Okay, we beat the Nuggets in seven games. You guys see why I wanted this series. Los Angeles versus New Orleans. That's absolutely awesome, guys. Holy moly, that would be a fun series to watch. Let's see if they still have... Well, obviously, I mean, it would just be interesting because obviously the big trade that just happened. So, Anthony Davis is going to play his former team. Brandon Ingram and Lonzo Ball will be playing their former team in uh, the Lakers. Josh Hart's still here as well. And it, let's, it is interesting, that's for sure. RJ Barrett. So... This team could definitely beat us. The fact they have Zion Williamson, is this would be so fun to watch. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat the New Orleans Pelicans, Anthony Davis' former team, or are the Pelicans absolutely going to embarrass Anthony Davis? And we're up 2-1, 2-2, uh, so this should be definitely a close 3-2. Can we win a 6? No, it's a 7-game series, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have home court advantage this time, though. Hopefully, we can take care of business here, get past the Pelicans, and it's going to be a close game. And it looks like the Pelicans... Okay, we come back in the end. 93 to 95, 100 to 99, 106, 103. 102, 107. Guys, I mean, we got to jump into this game, don't we? We have to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have a minute and 27 seconds left. We got to play this game. We got to do it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the game. I don't plan on choking this away, guys. I really want this. I really want to get past the Pelicans right now. So hopefully we can. And uh, RJ Barrett's driving on me. And they threw it to what? I don't even know who that was. Uh, that's Dougie McThunderbuckets. Why is he out here? So that's all right, man. Get your head off your or get your hands off your head. We have LeBron James. Everything's gonna be a okay. Let's go throw it to Boban. Oh my gosh. Okay, we get the ball back. Oh my gosh. So I thought I had a wide open dunk there, but obviously that wasn't the case. So let's go to Anthony Davis in the post, I guess. Over Okafor. He should be able to embarrass his new team or his old team. Let's go. Let's go. All right, there we go. 109 and 110, or 110, not 1010. Guys, I, I get absolutely nervous, like, talking and playing. It's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. RJ Barrett's trying to put the moves on me. I'm not going to let him do it, though. Not going to let him do it. He's clamped up. Clamped up. Lonzo ball in the corner. Can you imagine if he hit the three to, like, win the series? That'd be crazy. Or Brandon Ingram to do it to us. Do it to our face. They're going to get Oak Four down low. Okay, they got three seconds left on the shot clock. Please don't. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. What a, an amazing shot. All right, so I jumped a little too early, I think. So uh, I'm just gonna drive. I, I feel like Aunt LeBron James is okay. I wanted that and one, but we didn't get it. So LeBron, gotta make these free throws. Okay, first one goes down. Okay, I did not like how that looked. 35 seconds left. Let's go ahead and see if we can. No, okay, of course he's gonna miss it. All right, so awesome. Oh, uh, okay. Let's just play. Perfect. De Lonzo hit the three to win. Oh my gosh. This is not happening, guys. This is not happening. This is my worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. Okay. A and one. That's what we needed. And one. That's what we needed. So this is not over just yet. I mean, it's close, but if we can hit this free throw and maybe force a turnover or something, we can still win this game. So we got to do something here. Um,. I don't, I don't even know what... Okay, so obviously the intentional foul, the computer's automatically going to do that. If we can send Lonzo Ball to the free throw line, I think that's the best case scenario. But, um... Oh, man. I hate this, guys. Lonzo and Brandon Ingram hit both big shots over my head. That is so... Okay, he missed the first one. Please miss the second one. Please just miss the second one. That'd be absolutely amazing. Miss it! Okay, he hit it. So... We're going to have to hit a three or go for a quick two, I think. And uh, yeah, man, I'm not liking how this is going. Really don't. I cannot believe Lonzo and Ingram both hit the big three to possibly end us here. That is absolutely a slap in your face. That's what you get, right? That's what you get. So, all right, man, I'm tired. Uh, we don't need to see RJ Barrett's stats. Yes, I get it. He's he's killing it tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and throw it to Kimball Walker in the corner for the three. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Gosh dang it, guys. That's going to be the end of this game. Man, that's so annoying. So, I guess I'll simulate one more season. And I'm probably not going to do much to the team. Probably just going to sign a few veterans here and there to fill out the roster. Simulate another season. We disappointed here, man. Ah, Lonzo and Ingram, man. Lonzo and Ingram. 
So we've been the third seed throughout the entire video, and I'm getting irritated with it. But Anthony Davis did win Defensive Player of the Year as well, again, so I didn't need to show that. But 21 points from LeBron James, 19.8 from Kimball Walker, 19 from Ku or Davis, 15 from Kuzma, Precious at about 10.3, Bonga 8.9. Alan Crabb was our starting shooting guard. I could have resigned Kentavious Caldwell Pope, but I just decided not to. We got Deadman off the bench as well. Hopefully, this is the season that it all works out for us. So then Minnesota's up 1-0 on us. 1-1, one, one, uh, 2-1, please beat them, 3-1. And can we move on in five games? No, six games, please. Not going to a game seven, dude. I'm just going to let it go through. Okay, OKC absolutely beat us, and we don't have to worry about New Orleans this time. Uh, it was a lot of fun playing them, though. I'm not going to lie. But similar like current round, hopefully get past OKC. They absolutely scraped us last time. And it looks like they're going to do it again. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 two, two, for them. And we get eliminated in six games. So... Guys, uh, we're just going to say it now. Um, the Lakers made a mistake. They shouldn't have traded for Anthony Davis. According to 2K, Kimball Walker, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James could not get it done. They just can't. Lonzo and Ingram are going to hit the two biggest threes of their life to absolutely shove it in their old faces team for trading them. Anyways, guys, this was actually a really fun video to make. Despite not winning a championship with this team, it was still a lot of fun. What are you guys thinking about the trade? And honestly, man... I'm already excited for basketball to be back. I'm dying to watch some more basketball. It, it sucks that the finals are over because watching basketball is a very big hobby of mine. But anyways, guys, thank you guys. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.